Hey YouTubers, Xander here. Welcome back to Slime Rancher. Last time we discovered the area called the Ancient Ruins, grabbed some echoes, some quantum slimes, and realized that we need to feed another Tabby in order, well not Tabby, sorry, another Gordo in order to continue deeper into the ruins. So we'll be doing that. We already have the Tabby one basically set up for us for such an occasion. And obviously we'll want to try and aim for another one as well. Just so that way again, because if the plan is to have a Gordo a, an episode, we'll want to do that. Whoa, hello. You guys have been busy. Which is good because I want to use. I want to make another corral. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we've definitely got quite a good amount of cash now. That's without even grabbing these, and they're still... Another... Corral inside the cave expansion, so... Boom, rich. Okay. Stop it. <laughs> Hello, honey of phosphors. Those are still growing. Ooh, can I... Let's upgrade this, make sure it's... Make sure we always got food for the slimes, basically. Pretty sure we got enough money to do this. Let's need a sprinkler. What about this? I don't know if that's still good, so cool. Probably Oh, this is already a farm. Nice. I forgot that I did that. Alright. That worked out really well. Okay. So it's time to head out. Uh, we're going to head to the Indigo Plateau because that's where um, the slime that I want to combine with the <clears throat> quantum is. But we also want to grab any chickens that we can find and hopefully beat the pink slimes to it. And something tells me that's not going to be very possible. Alright. And while I could be collecting all of the pink plorts that are just everywhere right now, I think we'll do that as a separate trip in a few seconds. Yeah, there are just plorts everywhere. But we need to focus on chickens! Actually, that's probably all the chickens we're going to need. Don't eat the Roostro. Hmm. 
Rooster, rooster, rooster. Yes. Some stony hens. Actually, let's grab some more stony hens while we're at it. And apparently some roosteros. Nice. At least eight. Oh, two. Nice. So, I figure once we're done feeding the Tabby Gordo, we can, and we have more money, we'll make a coop on our ranch finally. So we can start kind of growing chickens, even though I won't be using them a whole lot. Ooh. You were one chicken away. Uh, yeah, look, like the one chicken. Silly tabbies. Anyways, boop. Oh. Ah, oh, crud. Forgot I can't use this teleporter. So now we've hit a small dilemma. I have an inventory full of chickens and the quantum slimes, but I don't have the money for the coop. So, apparently we're getting lots of upgrades right now. <clears throat> so I think what we'll do is we'll toss the quantum slimes in the coop that we did, or not the coop, but the corral that we did make. And we'll just have to go plort hunting for a bit with only one inventory slot, so yeah, that's going to be fun. So those three can go in there. Let's see. Just in case. None? Alright. This is going to be a lot of back and forth. I apologize. Hey guys. Let's check the water levels. Okay, it's fine. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. So that might actually be enough. Oh wow, those are cheap. Chickens! Roostros! Stony chickens! I know they're hens, but I don't care. Alright, inventory clear. Let's see if we can get at least one or two upgrades for the thing, though. Alrighty then. And I guess we can also check on the food supplies. I didn't even think about that aspect. Okay. Boop. Nice. Alright. This will give us a small chunk of change. Um, okay. Triple eights. Alrighty. 12 honey slimes, jeez. Okay, it's time to finally... Nope! <laughs> Last one. Oh no, whatever shall I do? It's not like these aren't 
excessively plentiful right now. Just look at him. It's like, at this point, I'm just going to call this littering with how many plorts they're leaving everywhere. Like, just from the first two small areas, we've got enough to max out our capacity already. Too many plorts! Need the biggest, bigger storage container. I believe the max is 50. Oh shit, okay. Uh, got it. Oh, I was gonna try to be. Oh, damn it. So I give her trying to be cool. Not allowed to trick shot, apparently. Fine. See you later. Heading back out. And yes, there is again way too many pink plorts everywhere, but I just what I don't care. Okay, we're heading to the Indigo Plateau. We have a destination oh come on. Excuse me. Oh, wait a second. I can teleport here, can't I? I've forgotten if I can or can't. Ouch. Derp. Alright, yeah, I can. There's a single tabby and a single hen. I wonder who will win. Okay. Is that a tabby? That didn't look... Oh. Okay, hang on. Actually, I want these. Oh, my stony hand. Don't know. Wait, wait, what? Did you already disappear? No! That's what I was trying to do! Alright, fine. Pfft. Well, that was silly. Yeah, so that was a variation of the tabby slime. Uh, called, like, the lucky slime. I think it said lucky slime. And what they basically do is you feed them, they just kind of drop money. I didn't think our money went up, so. But yeah, so there's this area over here. This is a very neat area. I actually really like this one. And ta-da! Crystal slimes. Actually, now that I think about it, shoot. I can't hang on to those. Because I need two things from here. Come to me. Boop. Okay. So, now that we've discovered crystal slimes, oh shoot, so the odd onions are another difficult vegetable to get as well as and so is the quant the phase lemons so both of those are a pain do I really want to combine those two I 
don't think I do. I forgot about that aspect. So let's just grab three of these. By the way, these ones are beautiful, in my opinion. Okay. Once came here to collect crystals for a loan project of mine. Was trapped here for nearly two days when those curious crystal slimes came. Rolling my way and started firing off those dangerous shards. Worth it. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, crystals, they hurt. So, another very dangerous slime. Got some boom slimes mixing up over here too, apparently. Ouch. If we continue down this path, believe. Oh, we're here. Okay. I think what we need to focus on now, ouch. Is that rock slime gordo that's relatively close to here? Because I don't think we've gotten that one yet. Problem is, there's a distinct lack of veggies around here for some reason. At least we got these two oka okas. <laughs> that's something, I guess. Ouch. Yeah, okay. Run, 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 run. Ooh, Roostro. Gimme. Roostros are very important. Hello. Bloop, bloop. Okay. We're gonna start feeding you, because we need a key. Unfortunately, the tabby didn't give us a key. So, yeah. Don't fall in there. Like a freaking dingus. Suicidal much? Okay. Hey look, an odd onion's growing right there. So the way odd onions work is that they can grow... They can basically replace any vegetable. Which is cool. But the problem is that when you try and grow just an odd onion, it'll become, I think it becomes whatever vegetable that patch originally was, and then it will grow that patch, and then, yeah. I'm assuming it has a higher chance of I don't even know I'm going this way, honestly. I'm just kind of whatevering my way through here. Oh. Oh. I don't remember where that leads. Does that lead to the ancient ruins? Maybe. I can't remember. What do we have down here? Ooh. Got a couple heartbeats. That's just mean. So I'm not exactly sure. What would happen with an odd onion that didn't have any base because it was just found in a box? I mean, if that kind of glitches the system and just creates pure odd onions and nothing else, then I'd be perfectly fine with that. But you know what? I will just... Okay, apparently I can't get out of here. Fine.
it may just come to the point where with the crystal slimes we can't produce their fa oh my gosh tars let's get out of here anyways with the crystal quantum slimes we might just not be able to make their favorite so they'll only produce half the um things so many hands Unfortunately, the quantums are really hungry right now. Oh, pile slime, stop it. Silly goose. What did I just say? for that Gordo. Yeah, see. So we do have some odd onions and then the rest are carrots. I want to say that's what happened before. I was like, that's a... Uh, I forgot about that. That's another problem with... Uh... Shoot. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Um... Crystal, dude. Thank you. Okay. Crystal plort. Into you. Nice. Now feed you. Okay, now you are fed. So the quantum goes to you. No. Okay. You're just the image. Okay, where's the other... Did he escape again? Alright, let's go... <laughs> Where'd that silly quantum slime get to? Oh! What are you doing up there? Come over here. I know you're hungry, but just hang on a moment. Just eat that. There you go. There! Alright, we got three happy quantum crystal largos. Yeah, and that's gonna be a thing. So it's it's very dangerous in there now. They got the crystals. They're doing the warpy things. I can't tell if they're in the cage or out anymore. They get hungry and they warp out, and it's just it's yeah. So we need to speed these up. I'll leave them with a little bit of food, I guess. But I really like to keep these heartbeats for the Gordo. So, let's head back to that rock gordo, grabbing any sort of vegetables that we can find along the way. Of course, heartbeats preferred, but obviously we're probably going to find a plethora of carrots. And also probably some oka okas, since it's in the indigo plateau. And while we could have teleported, obviously we kind of want to walk so that we can find vegetables, because if we're just taking a shortcut, then less veggies. Duh.
Ow. Oh. Eh? Oh. Yeah. A single carrot. Where'd the puddle slimes go? Huh. Weird. Oh god, onion. Okay. Hey, the onion is done. That was surprisingly fast. I wasn't expecting it to be done already. Actually, I'm kind of curious as to where this leads. Two more heartbeats, apparently. And. Two more Oka Okas. Actually, a lot of Oka Okas. Wow! Huh. Didn't know that was a thing. What about up here? Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Just a view. Alright. So, with all these vegetables, we can definitely feed that Gordo. Oop. Hello. close to full. Now, as odd as it sounds, I'm not going to finish feeding him right now. I'm probably just going to end the episode. It's a couple, it's a little minute or so short, but oh well. Actually, you know what? Let's pad the run time by fighting all these tars. Oh, hi. Hi there. He couldn't feed him what he wanted. As I said, let's pad the runtime by fighting all these TARS. Yeah, I'm a horrible person. Hi, how are you today? Ow, why'd you go and do that? Hey, stop it, that's not very nice. Why did I just get done saying? Don't make me shoot you. I will shoot you, I will drop you. Give you one more shot. Okay, bye. Sploosh. There's actually an achievement based around holding onto a tar for a certain amount of time. Die. They also die on one shot. They didn't used to do that. That kind of sucks. Anyways, that was mildly entertaining. Okay. So yeah, now we're going to end it off. Um, with this, though, uh, we'll have another key. Well, I could go deeper into the Indigo Plateau. Instead, I'm going to go deeper into the Ancient Ruins. So next time, we will return to the Ancient Ruins with our key, and we'll see uh, what's behind that door. I already know, and you may know as well, but still, it's an exciting part of the game. So let's pause for no reason whatsoever. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I guess I'll see you next time.